new day, new new thing. So, <clears throat> if you guys didn't know, I make videos with my dad. We uh, drive truck and uh, we deliver boats. And uh, along with that, every time you come through a state, let's say like Montana, Wyoming, they, they've got these invasive species, you know, stations you have to pull in to get your stuff checked out, right? We're about to pull into one. Let me show you. The sign watercraft station. Yeah, and what it is, is just for all boat owners, not just commercial. Uh, mainly for uh, Joe Blows, who's bringing, you know, a bunch of mussels from the uh, other side of the country to the, the waterways of this side of the country. So if you don't uh, stop and get your stuff checked out, these kind of folks over here, well, they might chase you down. They come and check us out and all that jazz. Usually we just kind of park in front or park beside and they come out and look at us. They come. I see somebody in there. Uh, nice old lady. Yeah, all they do is they look at our paperwork and walk around the truck and they, uh, they stamp it. Well, I'm going to bed, y'all, because it's not time. First, a little bit of dinner. Ugh, yeah. It's always hoodie weather in Montana. It's been a minute since I started driving in the daytime, but it's that time of year where the sun takes longer to set. Ain't got but maybe four hours left to go to get to the first stop. And then uh, we'll deliver in the morning, so me and Dad will probably sleep comfortably tonight, and then deliver in Portland tomorrow. Ain't that pretty? Let me get out of here. Meanwhile, Mission Grog Coffee. Oh, it's really nice. Highlander Grog, if you guys like it. It's basically, um, God, I don't know. It's really good. You just have to try it. It's over at Town Pumps in Montana. It's like a dollar a refill or whatever. All right, here we go. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Right. Now that the boat is unloaded, the place took a little bit longer than we wanted. Me and Dad have been uh, trying to talk with the customers. Well, he's been driving and I've been communicating with the customers and trying to figure out where we're going to meet, all the fun stuff, you know. Um, and we've got one customer that's, he, you know, he wants us to come to him, but it's not really a safe place to load, mainly because of the, uh, sorry, Dad. Move the camera, so um, the camera's blocking the, the mirror. Not really a safe place to load because it's in a four-lane highway and it's in a turn lane. Now, if we were a car carrier where we could actually load and stay on the trailer the entire time, different story. But because there's two of us and we have to load the side uh, and carry ramps and stuff, uh, we were literally being the left-hand lane while our truck's parked in the middle turn lane. We've done that before in Seattle. Not a really not a good place, but even in Portland, still downtown Portland, still not a good place. So, anyways. That's, that's kind of what we're thinking is. We gotta get this guy to come to us. If he doesn't want to come to us, then we're just not gonna carry the car. It's just kind of the way it works. Um, it's not that far. It's about an eight or nine mile drive from him. And uh, the other customer, uh, she seems to be working with us real well, so no no drama or issues there. Um, I think we might have to take, possibly take her back to her apartment or something along those lines. But yeah, we still got delivered today. Um, and our customer, the boat customer, is in Ocean City, and they'll agree to stay open for us. So, hey, Matt, how you doing today, Dad? You okay? I'm doing well. He's doing well. Just ready to get all this business done, go back the other direction, go home. <laughs> you heard it first, he wants to go home. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. Okay, me and Dad are here. But uh, we're waiting on the customer 
or at least the dealership's customer to move their vehicle out of the crane unloading area. And uh, the customer, or at least their customer, is in the water with a boat. That's a fun one. You just pass by on the river over here. Is this, I guess it's the Columbia River. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, they're, they're testing testing the boat out so good thing gotta wait hurry up and wait the life of a trucker hurry up and wait so the customer's finally moving his car here's what i've got to do got to back into that hole and i've got to deal with it in all this traffic so it's going to be a fun one but we'll figure it out. One of our car customers is coming here instead of meeting at the TA. It's the guy that I'm having a little issue with. Yes, sir. Ready? Okay, let's go. Ugh. One down. Woo, busy, busy. Busy, busy. One to go. Okay, so this is what we got to work with. <laughs> This is a first for us. Because it's so long, we usually come right to the about five or 10 feet from the edge of the building. But this time, we're well past the building. We are, I don't know, good little distance from the from the boat. They're gonna like to store the, the ones that are offloading back here while we're unloading them. But not today, boys, not today. So now we have to lift it up and call it good. So now we know we can unload here, Dad. It's close. Hot. It is. Let's grab some gloves. Let's get to work. It's quick. Got another customer coming. Yeah, this place has got boats for days. Look at that. Quite amazing. Alrighty. Another customer just called. He's seven minutes off. Really. Let's go ahead and pull out. Yeah, boy. Here we go. Gotta get past all these rails right here. We'll call it good. I'm driving an IDI in Portland right now. Yeah, 7.3, 97, 2.50. Only got about 200 on the clicker. Gotta catch up with Dad, though. He's pretty quick. We're, uh, got unloaded at the, at the boat place and uh they wouldn't allow us to load there so we didn't load Ooh, she moves well yeah boy she's got a little bit of a shake in the front end uh and buddy she's got a bad bearing like a whining on the belt or something like that probably a pulley or the belt one or the other not real sure but she moves well day's not done but we're almost there second car is literally over there it's like Right there, a little gray thing. Here we go. Gotta get this thing loaded. And the steering wheel is a greasy mess. Whew. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm in the second one <laughs> and we're close. Generally, we wanna get the ramps away from the car. We don't want the ramps to be riding the whole trip. So, gotta back it up. Wait for dad to give me the all clear because I can't see him. Where are you at? There you go. Want me to back it up a little? Yeah. Okay. This thing, mate, hang on. I got to hold the braking gas in case it rolls forward. Yeah, okay. Let's knock it down. Well, we're back on the road and uh, we're trying to hurry to get home. I gotta go lay down because I gotta drive tonight and got but like, maybe a couple hours left before dad's time is up then I gotta start myself but uh, just want to say thank you guys for following today I know we've been interesting to see you get us unloaded and reloaded and and, and whatnot I had to actually drive uh, one of the trucks well the uh, f-250 the IDI 97 f-250 sounds a little tired uh, to the well to where we're supposed to load 
Um, we was going to load at the dealership, but um, we got told we couldn't do it because, well, that's insurance. Uh, they don't want anybody being at fault. I get it. You know, you've got, you know, several million dollars worth of boats hanging around. You don't want something else outside of your wheelhouse happening. We just went back to the truck stop. We uh, met another uh, customer there. We loaded the back, they loaded the back vehicle, and um, now we're out of Dodge. So we're headed home. We gotta go to Memphis. Then we gotta go to uh, Hendersonville, someplace north of Nashville. We gotta find a spot because the road that that guy lives on is a dirt road, and he was saying that there's no way you're gonna get a truck down it. I'm like, I believe it. I see it on the map. There is no asphalt. <laughs> so we usually, in this instance, we try to find a big parking lot. To deliver vehicles to because um, we don't we don't go to houses that's just it we don't do it um, you guys saw in two videos back we don't go to houses uh, subdivisions are a big no-no uh, big no-no can't get the truck in and out we're taking out vehicles you know people's vehicles parked on the side of the road you got curbs our trailer won't make it over the curb so yeah so other than that going to bed see y'all next video Bye.